so now we're going to prepare something to use to send emails so we're going to go this is our email that we're going to use i've told you to create one this is what i've called it i'm going to copy it and have it with me okay so we'll open a new tab and then search for google cloud console okay and then we're going to go to the first option and we're going to create a google application to use the authentication system so we can have this email and use it to send you know using the google api the OAuth system okay so simply we're going to create a new project so the way we're going to do this is create right click right here and then click on this right here new project click on it and then you can name your project whatever you want i'm going to call it app okay and then we're going to click create uh, this is going to be at least for so let's call it authentication okay or for example mailing okay it doesn't matter and then create okay it's creating right here okay and then we're going to create select project And now we have our project so simply what we're going to do is click on the menu and then we're going to go to apis and services and then the fourth option oauth constant screen so we create an application right here okay this is not important so just click create and right here you're going to name your application i prefer to use the same name of the project so we're going to create any conflict and then for the support email you you choose your email and then right here in the end developer contact information use your same email and then save and continue and for the scopes it doesn't matter save and continue save and continue and then the test user click on add users and add the your email that we're going to send emails from okay and click add okay and now it's been added then save and continue this is just a summary as you see right here everything on the informations that we added okay and then the test user right here it's added so uh, you can click back to the back to dashboard or you can simply now go to credentials and if you went to the dashboard you can go also for the menu and then apis and services and then the third option credentials and now we're going to create and get our credentials okay so right here we're going to go and click on create credentials and then oauth client id And then we're going to define the application type, which is going to be a web application. And then the name of it, I prefer always this, to use the same name. Okay. And then on, on authorized JavaScript origins, we're going to have the URL of our front end, which is going to be HTTP, then slash slash localhost 3000. Okay. It's been added right now. And in the authorized redirects URLs, we're going to use this one the developers.google.com slash auth playground and then we're going to copy it and pour it right here i'm going to tell you why and then we're going to create and after this we get our informations right here so we're going to get the client id and the client secrets okay uh do not copy them because i'm going to just you know delete this after finishing the the tutorials okay so we're going to go back to our application now we're going to go to the .env file and we're going to have some informations listed right here so first of all it's going to be the base url which is the url of our front end i'm going to have it right here so http two forward slash local host 3000 okay and now we're going to have also our email which is going to be the email so let me copy it so I'm going to go back to Gmail, I'm going to copy it, okay, and then I'm going to paste it right here. Also, we're going to need the mailing, the mailing ID, okay, also we're going to have a mailing secret for now, so mailing, okay, I think this is true. So we're going to go back to the browser, we're going to go back here, and then we're going to take the first one, and we're going to copy it right here, and then we're going to paste this for the id and then we're going to go back and the same one's going to be for the secrets okay and this is going to be the secret now we're going to go back and go back to this url that i've shown you before i'm going to include everything you know with the course so we're going to go right here and then we're going to 
go let's refresh it okay and then go to the settings on the right and then we're gonna go to the last option use your own OAuth credentials i'm gonna click that and we're gonna copy affirmations and paste them right here so we're gonna go back right here i'm gonna take the id paste it right here and then the same way is gonna do it right here because uh, when using this system it's gonna be it's gonna give us uh, a refresh code but it's gonna change every time so we're using this to specify our application so it doesn't refresh okay this is why i've done it so we're gonna click close and after this go back right here and we're gonna use the mailing server so http s and then to forward slash i'm gonna go mail dot google does come okay and then authorize api so we're going to use the mailing api of google and we're going to you know use it with our own application okay so you, you can because you have the ability to use it without your application but we're going to use it to connect it to application so we can use it all the time so it doesn't refresh okay so we're going to go authorize apis and as you see we get we're getting an application okay we got this uh okay so we got this problem so we're gonna go back let's go back right here to our application so this this is our application let's open it let's see if we added so we added it right here okay let's remove this everything is all right right here so let me check again we have this right here so let's do it again so this is https mail.google.com so authorize apis right now and we get the same we can send this up because it doesn't comply we go policy all right so let's see what's the problem so let's create save again because maybe i didn't save it so let's try again authorize apis and as you see now it works and as you see now it works because i added like a a forward slash in the end and, and we're gonna remove this okay so now we're gonna go and choose our mail email and then we're gonna click on continue and then continue and now we've authorized it so now we're gonna take this authorization co code and extend it for a refresh token and an access token so we're gonna click here and then we're gonna get the refresh token and also the access token so if we go back right here it says that's gonna refresh after 24 hours but it's not because we linked it you know we use this you know the link the this link right here we added it in the mailing okay this one so we added it right here so we're gonna link it on our application and also use the the client and the and the client secret with the playground application right here okay so we're gonna take the refresh token we're gonna copy it go back to our application let's call this mailing refresh okay okay and we're gonna paste this right here and we're gonna have mailing access okay and then we're gonna take them right here i'm gonna copy them and then go back and then paste it right here and this is all the information we're gonna need to start sending emails we're gonna use uh, some of the packages so we're gonna use node mailer we're gonna use google apis but we needed this information we needed to have the email the mailing id the mailing secrets and refresh and access so we're gonna use them to send emails successfully so this is was the first part so and then we're gonna start coding the next